<clears throat> the following interview was conducted with George Ann Julius for the Purdue University Oral History Program. It took place on Monday, uh, January the 12th, 2009 in Stewart Center uh, by phone. The interviewer is Catherine Marquis, the Oral History Librarian. Welcome. Tell us a little bit about where you were born, your parents and siblings in early years. Uh, I was born in Lewiston, Indiana, and uh, I was an only child. My father was uh, opened the bank there. He was employed by the bank, and uh, as, after he was employed there, why well, he and my mother married, and they lived there the rest of their lives. Okay. How large is what was the size of the town, and did you go to grade school there? Yeah, I went to grade school and high school. It was very small, but it was a new school, and it was good. Well, tell us a little, a little bit about some of the things that you did in grade school and high school. Any student clubs and things of that sort? No, it, it wasn't large enough for that. Oh. Uh, but I was in music. Okay. Did you? I went to uh, Arthur Jordan Music Conservatory in Annapolis. Okay. And. Uh, I did a lot of music things. Did you play an instrument, or did you? Yes, I played a violin from the time I was five years old. Oh my goodness! Do you still keep? Do you still keep the violin around? I I have my my uh, good violin, but I can't. I don't play anymore. <laughs> well, you got to keep it close in hand anyway. Yes, right. I I took it to uh, uh, the old violin maker in Annapolis and had it St strung. Hello. Checked up. Uh huh. Sure. Well, that's pretty good. Um, after, um, wh what year did you graduate from high school? Uh, 1935. Okay. And then what was the next step? Is that when you came to Purdue? Yes. I, I, uh, no, I wasn't enrolled at Purdue. But, uh, I, my parents enrolled me in DePaul, but I took a notion I wanted to come to Purdue. Okay. So we went up and... And, uh, Tell us a little bit about that, about your early days and things of, at campus life and things of that well, sort. Well, it was, it was a small campus then. Sure, okay. Uh, our freshman class was 1,000, and that was the largest class they'd ever had. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's something to remember. <laughs> yes, yeah. and uh, it was the campus was small enough that you knew most everybody. Mm -hmm. And when you walked across the campus, you... So a lot of people you knew. Sure, that's nice. And and even then, you know, um, Dr. Elliott was president. Uh huh. And in the morning when you went to your eight o'clock, you often spoke to him on the way. Well, how nice that is. He would be walking through. Sure, right. Did you? Did I gather you must have lived on campus? Yes. Where did you live? Uh, the first year I lived in the residence hall. It was new. Okay. And then. Um, I, I pledged a sorority. Okay. And the second and third year, I lived in the, the Cap Alpha Theta house. Okay. Well, that made it very nice. That was and that. And then, uh, um, uh, Doctor um, Dean Stratton and Miss Lehman asked some of uh, us to be the first student residents in the residence hall. Well, th tell us a little bit. What did that mean? What was what did that well, involve? That meant that we. We had our own private quarters, and there were two of us in each hall. Mm -hmm. And we worked in the office. We had, did the telephones and the sign-outs, and uh, uh, took people in to dinner. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had some responsibilities. Okay. We yep. had to spend some hours, but we got half of our uh, room and board. Well, very nice. What was your major while you were at Purdue? Um, I was in home economics, and at first, at first, my major was in, in uh, fabrics mm. and uh, design. And then, you know, that was a depression, and nobody could get a job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I heard that there were jobs in teaching, <laughs> so I switched to teaching uh, home economics. Okay, sounds good. All right, um, and, go ahead. Well, and that meant I had to go to uh, summer school. To take what they called then, oh, when we went to live in a, a house and I, had to take, get meals and do things for six weeks. Okay. Like a home management house? Yes, that was it. Okay. And, uh, well, and in the meantime, Dean Stratton and Miss Lehman had asked uh, 
as to be uh, in the residence hall the next year. Well, very So that was the reason I went to summer school. Very good. Okay. And I enjoyed being in the residence hall because I had a lot of privileges that no one else had. Like, for instance, what? Tell us one. Well, I got to go in and to the... To the uh, um, kitchen and eat whenever I wanted to. That's a nice perk. And after, uh, of course, they locked the halls in, you know, at night. Sure. And after they locked up, I could go out the back door. <laughs> you had a little little exit there, huh? Yeah. Right. <laughs> what sort of, did you go to any of the football or basketball? I went to every football game and every basketball game. Very good. How'd the teams do during those days? Wonderful. Good. Yeah. That was a good old days. Yeah, very good. I imagine the stadium was a lot smaller than it is now. Oh, yes, and um, I was a member of what they called the Gold Peppers. Okay. What, what, what? And we sat re- directly behind the uh, football team. What did the Gold Peppers do? Did you, was this cheer, a cheer group? or? I, I don't remember okay. everything, but I know that we went to the Everett football game and we sat directly behind the team. Very, did you have a special kind of a hat or something that you wore? We had jackets. Oh, jackets. Oh, how mm-hmm. nice. Okay. Do you still have your Gold Pepper jacket? I did have, but I think it's gone now. Oh. <laughs> you can't keep everything. I know. Oh, um, now, tell you had mentioned that, uh, tell us about uh, your interaction with Amelia Earhart and um, Lillian Gilbreth. How did oh, that come uh, about? Amelia Earhart came to the hall, and she had a little apartment on the first floor of the hall there. Okay, is this, would this and, be... Uh, we was, just thought she was the most beautiful person in the world, and she was very, uh, very nice to talk to, and uh, I, I ate dinner with her several times, mm-hmm. and... Uh, she was friendly, and you know she was so tall and thin, uh-huh. and very attractive. And then her husband would come with her sometimes. Okay, okay. And uh, we just liked her a lot. Sure, that's right. What and about? Go I ahead. remember one time in the summer she came with in a card roadster. Oh, oh my. my! We thought that was wonderful. That's kind of spiffy. <laughs> oh yes, when none of us had a car. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, then you say you uh, interacted with Lillian Gilbreth? Yes, she was like a grandma to all of us. Okay. You, she came, um, now that, this was my senior year, I think, oh. mostly, uh-huh. and uh, she came on the train, and uh, she stayed at the hall, and she always had something, some sewing to do when she talked to us. And that she was just friendly and fun, and you know she had those dozen children, mm-hmm. and she'd tell us different things that they did. And her youngest daughter was still, well, she was quite young then, and she came a couple of times with her mother. Mm-hmm. Well, that's nice. And we thought an awful lot of her. Right. Yeah. But she was always telling us how the quickest way to do things. Like, for instance, what? How to iron a shirt. You know, that was the days where we ironed everything. And, oh, oh, yes, right. And uh, she, you know, she was in that uh, time management thing. Sure, right. And she was all wrapped up in that. But she was a, a gray-haired lady with a bun on the back of her <laughs> head. Uh-huh. And she was just as sweet as she could be. Oh. Did she stay very long when she would be on campus? She was in and out. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Did she do any teaching, do you recall? I don't know. Okay. I don't know what she did. Right. But she I lived, have no was, idea. Right. But did you live in Doomy Hall? Would that be the hall that you lived in? Do you recall the well, name I of it? I lived in the South Hall. We call it the South Hall. South, then. South Hall. It's, it's, it's the one part of the South. Okay. Okay. That was the first hall. Uh-huh. For Amelia Earhart, did you um, did, did she do any teaching, or she just worked with students? I, they, I think she did some advising. You know, they, they didn't have a uh, an aviation department then. Sure. All yeah. we had was a uh, they owned the airport. Uh huh. You had the Purdue Airport, and I know that there were a couple of girls in the hall that. Uh, went with her out to the airport. Mm, okay. Is that so what, I think she did some advising. You know, later on they had an aviation department. Sure, that's right. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, other, any other activities that uh, that you recall when you were in, in college that you participated? What was the village like when you were here? Well, it was, I, w- I walked the village every day to, two or three times. Sure. Because I lived in the Theta House, which was on the hill. Okay. On the All right. river. All right. 
and ever ever spring the river flooded. That's what I've heard. Oh, oh yes. Oh dear. But we walked we walked the village to class. Oh okay. And back and forth, and went through the Pi Pi Alley, and uh, the village was small. We stopped in and kind of, there was a drugstore we always stopped in on. Sure. Right. And uh, you wouldn't believe, but we got. Uh, toasted Hershey sandwiches. Ooh, I, <laughs> I've never heard of those before. Oh yes. <laughs> oh my, does this be like a Hershey bar candy? Yes. <laughs> candy. Oh my goodness. Oh. Crazy people. Oh, very but, interesting. You know, we thought that was good. Well, certainly that's right. And of course, we had wonderful appetites. That's a light. <laughs> <laughs> what about were there some dances and things in the union? Is that yes, where some? We had uh, every Saturday night. There was a union dance. Mm-hmm. And at that time, we wore long dresses to the union dances. Very nice, yes. And uh, uh, you didn't dare go unless you dressed up. Okay, okay. But uh, we had good bands. Uh, all good bands came, and we had nice dances every Saturday night. Mm, that's very good. And I imagine the uh, Pappy Sweet Shop was there, too, wasn't it? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. That, right in the same building. It made it very nice. Mm-hmm. And then senior year, uh, uh, as I said, I lived in the residence hall as a student resident, and uh, uh, I belonged to mortar board. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, we had such an, all of us had such a nice relationship with Dean Stratton. Mm-hmm. She made everybody feel uh, comfortable and welcome. I know one time my roommate and I called her up, one evening, and she asked us to come over. We were asking her some questions because we were on uh, Banalinic, and we were worried about something, and we went over and s- at her house and stayed a while. We just felt welcome. Yeah. And that was awful nice. Sure, that's right. And, you know, it was... Now, my daughter went to Purdue, of course, much, much later, and it wasn't anything the same at all. She didn't like it. Mm. It was big, you know. But it was it was a I don't know, it was just a community when I went. Right, yeah. And I had a wonderful time. Right, yes. And a lot smaller at that time too. Oh, that's what made it nice. That's right. That's you knew right. everyone. Right. Did uh-huh. the, did they have the trolley cars that went up uh, oh, State yes. Street? So oh, that's yes. what you're saying. Uh, okay. At, but they they stopped at a certain time. Okay. And if you miss, if you were over at the uh, east side and missed the last trolley, you had to walk clear to the residence hall. <laughs> that could be a long walk. Oh, I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Tell us a little about your family. Did you, did you meet your husband while you were at Purdue? No. Oh, okay. No, I didn't. Mm-hmm. I, I, uh, After when, you... While I was at uh, my senior year at Purdue, mm-hmm. I, I was offered the, to teach this teaching job in Flora. And I called my father, and he said, well, that was a nice community that I should consider it. So uh, I came to Florida to teach home economics in high school. Mm-hmm. And uh, my husband lived in uh, Delphi, and I met him there. Mm-hmm. And then we were married three years later. Oh, very nice. Okay. Did you continue te- then? Did you continue teaching then after you got married? Yes. I taught for six years after I was married, okay. and then I stopped teaching, and I had two children. Okay. And then um, when my little boy was three, I went back to uh, they to sub. They kept asking me to sub, and finally they asked me to sub in an elementary school, and I said I didn't know anything about it, and I couldn't do it. And they came at the last minute and said, I just had to. They didn't have anybody. So I had a friend in Washington, D.C. who taught fifth grade. And I had a friend in Indianapolis who taught fifth grade. So I asked them for the weekend. And they got me started so I could start that classroom. Bring you up to speed, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, uh, I was only going to do it for three or four days. And they finally came in and said I was doing a good job, wouldn't I like to keep it? So I did, and then I went back to school and uh, took uh, elementary education. Where did you come back to Purdue? Yes. Oh. Uh, what year did you I come? went at night school. Okay. 
and uh, then summer school. Mm -hmm. Took me forever to get to to six hours. Yeah, I bet bet it did. It's hard when you're working and going to school. And have two children. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have a boy and a girl? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And did you in said earlier that your daughter went, did she graduate from Purdue? Yes, yeah, she graduated from Purdue. Uh-huh. And but my son went to uh, Miami University, of Miami in Florida. Oh, okay. A little warmer down there. Yes, he yeah. he wanted a little more excitement. <laughs> He'd been to Purdue all his life. <laughs> so he wanted to get out of the change of scenery then, right? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, uh, tell us then, uh, You continue, did you go back teaching then full-time, or tell us a little yes, about your career? I went back career. teaching full-time, and I taught until I was 65 and could retire. Okay, okay. So that's a long time. Yes, it is a long time. And and whereabouts did you, then you live, where you're living now during all this time? Yes, I'm te- living in Florida. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> uh, tell us a little bit of how, how that community has changed. Has it grown over time, or? What? Has floor grown over time? Has it gotten larger? Or? Oh, it's gotten smaller. Oh, I smaller. Think. Okay. Yes, it's a small town. Now we had the uh, um, floor was a nice little town. I mean, it had several businesses. As a friend of mine said, you could buy everything you needed in floor except a good pair of shoes <laughs> for herself. Sure. She couldn't be fitted. But uh, now we don't have businesses. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you know, uh, my my husband had a men's clothing store here in Florida for a while, for 40-some years. That's a long time. Uh-huh. And when he died, I, I had never done anything in the store. He always said, you have your business and I have mine. But uh, I had to run the store for a year. <laughs> and uh, I, I worked hard at it until I could sell it. Sure, right. So I've done a lot of things. I would say so. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about the uh, the Grand Marshal this year, oh, well, Christmas, that, and how that came about. It's a parade every yeah. year. Uh, tell us how that came about. And uh, well, they uh, the little girl down at the uh, uh, flower shop was in charge of it, and uh, they pick someone in the community each year to lead the parade. And uh, she called and wanted to know, and I didn't even talk to her. My son answered the telephone. He was home, and he said, Mom, it's, it's Teresa at the flower shop, and she wants to know if you'll be the Grand Marshal for the Christmas parade. And I said, well, oh, Rob, I whether I can or not. He said, yes, you can. We'll see that you do. <laughs> so uh, that's how I happened to be the Grand Marshal, and they had to. Uh, the prettiest uh, carriage. It was an old-fashioned carriage, and uh, some people at Delphi have it, and it was so pretty, and they had two big black horses to uh, drive the carriage. So uh, I got to sit in that old-fashioned carriage and and, and be the Grand Marshal of Parade. Isn't that, was the weather okay? Well, it was cold. Yeah, but not any sleety or snow. Uh, no, I was I was dressed warm. Sure. And uh, I, Rob kept me in the car until it was time for the parade, and yeah. I just it wasn't very long. Sure. So uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Did they have anything afterwards at all, or after well, the parade? Well, they have the the, the uh, everything's open in downtown, and they have some oh different things going on. But sure. uh, I just came on home. Right. Well, that was kind of a nice special thing for you. What a, what a yes, nice... Yes, it was, it was an honor. Right. And what I a, appreciated it. What a nice Christmas you had. <laughs> yes, I, I, had, I had a nice Christmas. My, uh, I, my daughter lives here in Flora. Oh, that's nice. My son lives in Annapolis. Mm-hmm. And um, I have two grandchildren and um, a boy and a girl, and I have four great-grandchildren. And we were all together at Christmas. Isn't that nice? Wait, waiting for Santa to bring his goodies, right? Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, the, the most fun was the newest, what, just a year old. The uh, other boys were, I have three boys and one girl. Mm-hmm. And the boys were older. And we hadn't had a baby for a while. But we had this little girl, and she's was funny, of course. We enjoyed that. Oh, sure. That's interesting when they're at Christmas time. They oh, yes. add so much to it. She just loved the 
Christmas trees. Oh, yes, that's right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, any thoughts? Can you give us some thoughts on teaching and how that's cha- how that has changed? Well, you, you know, uh, I never went back to substitute. Okay. Uh, but I, I do know from uh, friends of mine who are teaching that uh, it's a little hard anymore. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Children, children don't seem to think that it's very serious. Mm-hmm. Not like it, you know, it used to be. Now, I, I still get cards from people that were in my first classes when I came to Florida to teach home ec. Isn't that nice? Yes, and I get letters and cards, and I, I think they took it seriously. Right. And uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with the way children do now, but I just think it is important like it used to be. Mm. That's nice that they keep in touch, and it, it means it, it's such a, a, a sense of satisfaction um, for them to keep in touch with you and, make, pleased, and bring them up. I'm pleased to hear from them. And then I have uh, uh, two uh, ladies in town who were in my first class that I had. My goodness, how and wonderful. They come, they come to see. I don't get out anymore. Oh, okay. And uh, they come to see me regularly. Good. Very good. Well, that's sort of nice. And, and it's kind of pleasant, yes. That's right. Yeah. Are you living in the same house that you lived in all this time? No. Oh. My daughter's living in the house that we started in. I mean, it was a two-story. Uh-huh. I see. And um, my husband had a heart condition, and he wanted to be on one story, so we changed to a one-story house. Sure. And we, we've lived here since um, 64. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Yeah, yes. that's pretty mm-hmm. that's nice. And he, he died in forty in eighty two, so I've lived by myself since then. Oh, okay. But with with the children and grandchildren and people around and everything that makes it well, they're home. they're where I could whistle for them if I needed them. <laughs> oh dear. Um any honors or awards that, that you recall getting over your lifetime that you'd care to share with the uh, researchers? Anything special? In addition to the parade, which was really extra special. Any things uh, that you no, can... I don't think so, except the ones I won in in uh, college. Like, for instance, what did you get? Tell us. What? what which ones did you receive? Well, I, I, I enjoyed being a mortarboard. Yes, that's a very nice, and that still goes. And it's... I still hear from the mortarboards. Mm-hmm. Right. And uh, I enjoyed my uh, sorority life. Sororities were big when I was in school. Right. That sorority still is that sorority still on campus? Oh yes, okay. they is. Mm-hmm. Okay, and so you do you keep in touch with them then? Yes. Oh, that. But most of my friends are gone. Yeah. Time moves on, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what did you when you retired? Then what were you, some of your retirement activities? What were you involved in? Do you recall, or did you just sort of stay close well, to home? Well, when I was retired, I just well, just I did things at church and in the community. Mm-hmm. And I was good about taking people every place. Uh-huh. And, uh, of course, Al, I don't drive, so I don't have anybody to take me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're do- you're, you have friends that can take you, though. Yes. yes. Well, that's sort of nice. But I, I did help in the community. Sure. And in the church. Right. And I, uh, I did volunteer at school, too. That's very nice. At the great school. Right. Mm-hmm. Is is where you were teaching? Is that school uh, still in existence? Where you oh were yes. Te- oh okay. But it's a, it's a com- um, combined school now. Okay, I see. For the researchers, tell them what combined meant. Well, it meant that when I first started here, ever a township had their own high school, and so then they combined, and uh, all the townships went together. I think four of them, okay. and we build a bigger school. And so for all the four townships, they go to yes. the one school? Uh-huh. I see. Okay, thank you. Uh, do you have a uh, favorite Purdue tradition? No, I don't think so. I just think we all remember Heaven Hall. Sure. And... Uh, do you remember the Boilermaker special or Purdue oh, Pete? Yes. Well, you went to all the yes, games yes, and Purdue uh, Pete, right? Yes, and Purdue Pete, and, right. and then we had the, um, oh, what was the men's organization that always ran the Boilermaker special? Oh, the Reamers. Oh, the Reamers, yes. Right, exactly. Did they have, they had, uh, did they have the cords? 
The seniors wore their cords when you were here? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And the girls they, wore... They did, and, uh, and the girls wore their skirts? And the girls had some cord skirts. Sure. Did you have one? It was the bobby socks and uh, saddle shoes. Saddle so shoes. I, oh, yes, right. Do you still have your cord? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've gotten a few in, in the archives and special collections. They were very, very interesting to look at and, and well, excellent. Uh, you know, my... Uh, daughter had cards in high school. Oh, is that right? All painted. Oh. And uh, we kept hers for a long time. I don't know whether she still has them or not, but <laughs> Uh, you know, that was a trend for a long time. Oh yeah, and they uh, for seniors, and then wear the uh, the ha the um, oh, the bowlers and, and the uh, oh cane. yes, this, uh, the when uh, I went, I think the freshmen still had to wear the little the, green the, beanies. The beanies, that's right. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and uh, when we were uh, initiated in the mortarboard, we had to wear our mortarboards on the campus for a week. Ooh, what did what was what would that be? What was where the mortarboard? Was that a uh, well, you know the the graduating hats, the mortarboard hats. Oh yes. Oh okay. And we had to wear those for a week when you on were, the campus when you were initiated. Oh, that's uh, interesting. I didn't realize uh, that. That's that pretty was nice. The tradition. Yeah. Did you when you uh, for commencement was that in when you graduated? Where what building did you graduate from? Uh, we had a. Um, I think we had an open. Oh, outside. I think it was outside. On the mall. I can't there. remember. Isn't that right. terrible? Right. Uh, on the mall. Because um, Elliot was not built at that time that you were here, was no, it? Oh, no. Sure. Uh -huh. They had F Fowler Hall was here. Uh-huh. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. And Fowler wasn't big enough. Sure. That's right. And you graduated in the spring? In the spring of 39. Oh, mm -hmm. very nice. Okay. Um, do you have, and you want, would you like to, uh, have you kept active in the Alumni uh, Association? The yes, Purdue alumni? I've kept with alumni, but you know, I keep reading everything, and I don't know anybody they talk about anymore. Well, sometimes you have to look at your class and the, the class notes. I I get I, do. I get I get it, and I enjoy reading it very much. You know, I do too. I still look at it. Sure, that's right. Do you have a uh, how about an outstanding event in your life? Would you have something you'd like to share with us along that line? Anything comes to well, mind? I haven't thought. Huh? I, I don't I don't know what it would be just right now. Okay. I'll think of it just as soon as I hang up. Oh, well, that's okay. Any <laughs> any uh, comments that you'd like to share with the researchers about yourself and things at Purdue and whatever? No, I just think Purdue's a wonderful school, but I'm I'm, I'm sorry it's gotten so big that uh, it's really large, and the campus has grown a lot, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm afraid it's it's a little too big for me. <laughs> you have to be careful with <laughs> all the buildings. It's wonderful, right? And it has a, it still stands a good seat in, in, you know the country. Sure, that's right. And I'm I'm real proud of it. Right, and it's good that you were able to able to go there too as well. Well, yes, yeah. and I I don't uh, I'm not sorry that I chose Purdue over. Right. What I was supposed to do. <laughs> sure, that's right. Well, we want to thank you very much, Mrs. Julius well, Georgian. Well, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not too good at this. You're but. very. You did very well, and what we will, and we really appreciate you taking the time, and it's been wonderful well, for me to chat. Thank you for being interested. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.